Hey everybody, so you're looking at my HP Pavilion Sleepbook 15 laptop. I've had this thing for several years. Had it since probably 2016 or 2017, I think. Ultimately, it replaced my Dell Inspiron 1525 laptop. I got this laptop for free because the hard drive was failing or had failed. And the previous owner had done bought a new laptop for her daughter. And this was her previous laptop and they didn't want it anymore. Once I got it, I believe I extended the memory up to 8 gigabytes. And of course, I had a crucial SSD that was in the Instagram 1525 that got transferred over. So it has a Core i5, let's see what version. It's a Core i5. 3317U processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 250 gigabyte solid state drive, and we got Windows 10 Pro on here, and it's probably an older build of Windows 10. 2004. Like I say, this machine doesn't get used a whole lot, but I decided to start using it a little bit here and there. And one thing we're going to be doing to this machine is we're going to be putting Windows 11 on it. So we'll do a uh, upgrade install. But of course, this computer, which came with Windows 8.1, made in 2014, does not meet the Microsoft Elite class Minnesota requirements for Windows 11. So of course, our installer has been modified using Rufus. That way we can bypass those Elite Class CPU TPM checks and just upgrade to Windows 11 regardless of the system meeting the requirements or not. That being said, there's not a whole lot on this thing. I mean, it's not a clean install. I mean, it's got, of course, Chrome and all that good stuff. As a matter of fact, I had just uninstalled and reinstalled Chrome and cleaned everything up as far as that goes. Kind of a different story there, but I mean, not too much on here. I mean, I do use this machine for work sometimes, so. Anyways, let's go ahead and pop in our USB stick. And let's go ahead and attempt an upgrade install to Windows 11 22H2. Again, won't, this won't be a clean install. It'll be an upgrade install. There'll be a few things I will have to do to this thing, including upgrading the old classic shell to open shell to a specific version that works with Windows 11, and probably a couple other things here and there. But we'll go ahead and start by running setup. We should be able to upgrade install from our existing build of Windows 10. Matter of fact, if you didn't know, you can actually upgrade from Windows 8.1, believe it or not. Let's turn off the download updates thing. And of course, since we Set up this USB installer using Rufus. It should bypass the Elite Class checks and allow us to install Windows 11 on this thing, regardless of the system requirements. So we we'll choose Accept. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do an upgrade install. We'll come back when this is done. Okay, so the Windows 11 upgrade is complete. It only took about maybe a half hour.
bypass the high. We're getting things ready for you bullcrap. I don't want the desktop. And I do want task manager. And of course, the first login will take a little bit longer. And we did see the desktop briefly for a moment there. <laughs> What's it morning now? Turn all this mess off. Make sure they're all switched off. All right. Okay, so we are in now. Here's our Windows 11 start menu. And I'm going to need to update the installation of Classic Shell slash Open Shell. Let's go ahead and left align the taskbar. Let's turn all this stuff off. It's kind of awkward dealing with the trackpad. All right, let's left align everything. Okay, that looks better. Again, we need to update to the newer build of, uh, or the newer version of Open Shell. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so here is our newer open shell. Accept the terms, leave everything as default there. This is going to do an upgrade install. Okay, so let's see here. So I may have to manually launch up and shell. Or I may just restart the system. Let's restart it. Well, of course, it's wanting to install updates. <laughs> Go figure. You can see this machine's running Windows 11 quite well. Just another prime example of why I call the Windows 11 system requirements the Microsoft Elite Class minimum system requirements run Windows 11. Alright, so I may have to, um, let's see here. There we are. There goes up in shell. Well, there it was. And there we are. There's our open shell menu, which is like Windows 7. So, there we have that. I'm not going to show too much information because, I mean, I do have stuff on here. But yeah, that is this 2014 laptop and HP Pavilion Sleepbook 15. It was upgraded with a Sauce 8 drive a little while back, and it has 8 gigs of RAM. It used to have 4 gigs of RAM when I originally got it. But you can see this machine, despite not meeting the Windows 11 system requirements, as I call them here, the Microsoft Elite Class Mental System Requirements from Windows 11, it's running Windows 11 quite well. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. It's going to do a uh, actual shutdown, well, just a uh, normal shutdown, rather. That way we can see how fast it starts up. 
Now, I'm not going to get my phone for this to do the stopwatch, but anyways, we're still waiting on the shutoff. Okay. So let's go ahead and start it back up. telling you guys it's it's another fine example of uh, the Windows 11 testing requirements are absolute bullcrap so anyways that is the Devan Sleepbook 15 running Windows 11 now mind you this is not a clean install this is a upgrade install on over the existing Windows 10 so if it was a clean install, it'll probably mean faster. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we get notified new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And share this video as well as the channel with your friends. And get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Cubed Comp MTDX. Over there, you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.